Hello guys and welcome to my channel. This is the first ever English video that I ever ever make uh, and I hope it's not the last one because um, you can probably tell that I'm not English, I'm Norwegian uh, so my English isn't the best but I hope I can explain and that I can communicate okay so that you understand me. Uh, but if you want to see how I did this look, then just keep on watching and I will show you. I start with this foundation by Huda Beauty uh, and I use the color Cashew. Uh, I want a clean canvas for this look so I'm just tapping that in using my Morphe sponge just to cover up any redness or freckles. Then I'm using the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay in the color Natural Fair, I believe. Uh, and I'm just highlighting my high points on my face. I'm not really concentrating that under my eyes because I know I will later cover that up with million layers of eyeshadow. So I'm not worried about my dark circles. Here you can totally do your regular foundation routine. Uh, it doesn't matter at all, really. <laughs> Then I used the La Mer Just Loose Setting Powder and just powder up my face. It's really important that you powder, especially where we're going to have the eyeshadow, so the eyeshadow blends seamlessly. Then I'm just bronzing up my face using this bronzer by Becca. I really enjoy it. It's a really nice color for fair skin. Just to give some dimension so my face doesn't look like paper. Then we can start on the colors. Uh, I'm using this turquoise color uh, from the Juvia's Place Sulu palette or something. And I'm just starting out with a Morphe brush and just making the the sky but I'm, now it's just the base we are working on so it's, it doesn't have to be super neat or something. After I was done with the turquoise I started out with this orange shade from the same palette and I'm just slowly adding the color and blending it into the turquoise. Then I'm using this green from the Morphe 35C palette uh, and I'm just slowly blending that also in as the same or as the other colors it's not a really hard job to do it's just to have patience to get more dimension I'm using the black shade from the same palette and I'm just slowly blending that into the other colors mostly on the upper parts of the colors just to make the sky more dark <laughs> yeah really then I go back in with a turquoise color and I find that if you go in with a bright color over a black shadow you really find the pigment and it really pops more as you can see here. Now I use this water activated paint in pink uh, just to give more uh, color uh, and the paints are really really pigmented so yeah I find them really uh, good to do this kind of stuff uh, they, they make the job really easy <laughs> and also a little bit of green yeah and lastly uh, a little blue <laughs> I don't think I have mentioned it but I use the uh, water paints by Kriolan or Krylan uh, and now I'm just stippling some stars uh, using this kind of um, weird sponge. Uh, you can find it in SFX supply store or maybe online. Just search for freckle sponge uh, or something. Yeah. And I'm just drawing this little star. Then I use this black paint uh, and just sketching out where I want the mountains to be. Uh, I used the dark color before I went in with the lighter, lighter ones because then you can have more control and it's really nice to have that kind of dark shade uh, behind the lighter colors. Then begins the hard part or the most time consuming part. Um, my job was to highlight every rock uh, on the mountain just to give more dimension and color back because now it's really flat. Um, so I just took some like beige yellowy color and starting out by 
um, looking really closely at the real image uh, and see where the highlighted parts were uh, and just to recreate what you s saw in the picture. I didn't film every single step that I did because then this video would take like 5 hours or something. Um, but now you can see I've done mostly of the detailing work. Uh, I just have the trees left. Um, so I'm just stippling on some green or um, some uh, like beige yellowy tones again just to highlight the tree more and just to give it more dimension but as you can see here I also started out with the black base because then the colors will really pop and it will give the image more dimension then I just tap it on some black dots just to make yeah, the picture more detailed uh, I find that the eyes retail or reach for um, pictures that have more details in them because then they look much more I don't know when you see this picture you think oh my gosh she have done so much detailing with it I have but some if you just put some dots in it uh, it just looks more detailed then I started out with the ocean uh, I just used some I think I used the same turquoise color that I did on the sky and I'm just mixing that in with the darker blue just to give it more dimension. It's all about the dimension, okay? Just to give a little bit of life to the ocean, I used a little bit of white paint on the angled brush and just brushing and blending and yeah. Then I use these clear lashes in Twisted and just apply them on my upper eyelid. Uh, I just use it, do this to make my spot. Then I use this uh, highlighter by Ofra in glaze donut and just making more dimension to my face. And uh, so I'm just highlighting the tops of my cheekbones, my nose tip, and my cupid's bow. For the lipstick, I use this Huda Beauty um, liquid lipstick in color. Flirt. Uh, I think this is a really pretty, like, warm nude color uh, that matches the skies and takes a little bit of the warmth back to the whole image. Okay, guys, we are done with this look. I really hope that you enjoy the video. Uh, leave a message, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.